Hello and welcome to the video edition of College Techo. In this video, we will explain all about NIST. We will be covering all the details regarding the dates, admission process, eligibility criteria, admit card, counseling, and all. Let us quickly introduce you to the NIST exam. The five-year integrated MSc program in basic sciences, biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics has an entrance exam called NIST, also known as the National Entrance Screening Test. The University of Mumbai Department of Atomic Energy Center for Excellence in Basic Sciences and the National Institute of Science Education and Research jointly organized this NIST. The UMDA, ECBS, and NISAR Bhuvneshwar websites regularly update their schedules for the NIST exam. NIST generally happens in June. By entering the login information provided by the National Institute of Science Education and Research and the University of Mumbai, candidates who have successfully registered for the exam can access their admit cards. NIST is normally considered as a screening exam that is used to cut down on the number of candidates for postgraduate programs. Most importantly, candidates must regularly check the NIST exam dates to stay up to date on the latest national entrance screening test events. Also, the NIST application process is expected to begin in February. Now, let us take a look at the eligibility criteria. As part of the NEST eligibility criteria, candidate must meet the requirement related to the qualifying examination, the number of attempts, age, nationality, qualifying marks, and so on. Only those who meet the eligibility requirement will be allowed to take the exam. Those who do not meet the requirement will be denied the opportunity to sit for the examination. Applicants must carefully review the eligibility criteria before filling out the NEST application form. NEST application eligibility requirements are as follows. On the basis of nationality, candidate must be a citizen of India. NRI students or PIO or OCI candidates are not eligible to apply for the exam. Candidate from Jammu and Kashmir, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana state have a quota of 15% on the basis of age limit. General and OBC category applicants born on or after 1st August 2002 are eligible to apply for the NEST. There is a five-year relaxation for SCSD PWD applicants such as they must have been born on or after 1st August 1996. On the basis of number of attempts, there is no restriction on the number of attempts for NEST examination. On the basis of educational qualification, candidates should be from the regular science stream with the only combination of these three subjects among biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics in classes 11th and 12th respectively. Also, final year applicants are also eligible for the NEST entrance examination. Please note, those candidates who are appearing for board examination in the current year must pass it by the time of admission into the program. Now, on the basis of minimum required marks, candidates should secure at least 60% marks in aggregate or equivalent in class 12. And for candidates belonging to reserved categories, the minimum requirement of marks is relaxed to 55 in aggregate. The next we have is the application process. Candidates must first review the NEST eligibility criteria before submitting their application form. There will be no offline application for the entrance exam. Each candidate may submit online one application form. Aspirants had to have all the requirement document ready before filling out the application form. After successfully completing the registration process, candidate will be assigned a system generated user ID and password, which will be sent to their registered email ID. And with these login credentials, the candidate can complete the application form and submit it before the registration deadline. Moving on to the admit card. The NEST admit card will include the candidate's name, center name, exam center address, reporting time, and duration of the exam. The NEST admit card is required document that must be brought to the examination center. Candidates will be permitted to enter the exam hall unless they have a valid admit card and photo ID. Before downloading the admit card, candidates should double check all the information on the card and keep the all tickets safe for their future use. Candidates must log in with their application number, password, and CAPTCHA image code to download the admit card. After the release of the admit card, candidates will set for the examination. Now, let us talk about the result. After the exam, the NEST result and scorecard will be released publicly. Candidates will need to provide their registration number and roll number in order to check their NEST result. NEST scorecard won't be delivered by mail or email. 
the nest score is valid for a year the section by section nest scores of candidates will make up the nest result only those who meet the requirement will be contacted for the counseling process lastly we will talk about the nest counseling process candidates who pass the entrance exam can schedule a counseling appointment after the result are announced the nest counseling process is carried out offline in a number of rounds candidate must show up at the counseling location by the designated time and date in order to participate in the counseling process following the release of merit list counseling is held candidates should be aware that they will be called for nest counseling based on the merit list that has been released net counseling session will take place twice following the conclusion of the first round of counseling the organizing body will publish a list of candidates for the second round according to the number of open seats candidates are urged to look upon the list of nest official website lastly as per the admission criteria candidate who pass the counseling process will be admitted to one of the nest participating universities so this was all about nest in case you need any career related guidance feel free to call at our student help line now that is 18005729877 and talk to our experts for more such informative videos stay tuned to college dekho if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel